one of the things that was driving me crazy trying to learn Rust that week, um, and I'm used to it from Go. I think one of the things that was really nice about Go is in general, there's really like one way to do things. And there isn't a lot of complexity <laughs> around that. So there really is just one way to handle errors, right? There's the error interface, you define a concrete type that satisfies that interface. And so value errors in Go are just values and we can move them around the program in a decoupled way. And I think it's, I can have one conversation with somebody, give them one example. And I think light bulbs can go on, right? When it came to that Rust program, and the, and the pattern matching and the options and all that, um, and seeing multiple ways of handling that error and wanting to be more granular than um, opaque, right? More transparent than opaque. Mm -hmm. I started pulling my hair out a little bit because I was saying to you, what's the best practice? And you were like, this is, but I'm like, I don't like that. I wanna go, I wanna be more transparent. And you're like, well, then you do it like this. And I'm like, no. <laughs> You know, yeah, you know, they've honestly given you too many options. Um, unwrap is the easiest way to handle any error whatsoever. You say if it's an error, then please crash the whole program. Um, I don't recommend that in production, but it's handy when you're learning. You can match on the error. You can match on if it is an error. And there's the question mark operator that if you're returning a result, you can just throw the result all the way out of your function and let somebody else deal with it. And I I do agree that there's um, arguably too many ways to do it. And the um, default mechanism for uh, building an error is kind of messy, which is why uh, uh, the Rust world as a whole is standardized on two solutions, one called Anyhow, which catches almost any error and is what you use when you just want to uh, say something bad happened, um, so whatever I just called didn't work. And then there's one called this error, which makes it really easy to write really explicit error messages. So if you're doing something low level and you care that the issue was that the file didn't open versus the buffer didn't work when you opened the file or the permissions were wrong, then you can start getting really granular. And you know, there's a, there's a bit of tension there because when you're writing a web service, you don't necessarily need to know exactly what went wrong depending on versus when you're writing an operating system driver module. Whereas if you don't trap the error exactly, you might cause somebody's video card to futz and mess up their whole day. Um, so Rust really tries to do both, and that's why there's more than one way to do things. And you know, I typically try and focus on teaching the what's become the de facto standard, which is this error and anyhow. Um, I think it'll become part of the standard uh, reasonably soon, the uh, standard library eats, um, you know, absorbs crates that are doing well like that.